Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It's episode two with IK Start. Lots to catch you up on. So much that I've had to write it down on a piece of paper so I don't forget. So let's take a look. You can see the bank balance has improved like by 400 grand. Part of that, to be fair, um, if we go to income, is season tickets, right? So that's... I don't even know if that's entirely accurate, but apparently we've sold 1.2 million pounds in season tickets and we still are, we started at 1.6 in the hole, we're at 1.2. So I played a bunch of friendlies, like the most friendlies I've ever played with Football Manager because it was 86 days before the start of the season, which is strange. And we played two leagues where we, we uh, invited in bigger teams to play us so we can get some TV revenue and some gate receipts and stuff like that. So that's worked out okay, because as you can see, let's just take a look here. This season, right, sponsorship is a little bit less, I mean, just a fuzz less than last season. Gate receipts, though, we haven't even played a league game, and we're at almost, I mean, yeah, we're at 50% of our gate receipts because of all the friendlies we played. So that has made a dent, right? Uh, we've sold some players, we'll talk about that. We have some other, I don't know what that is, TV revenue. Obviously, we've got, uh, what is this, 156,000-ish. I don't know why I didn't do this last season, so that's weird that that's there. That's going to be a data error inside of FM. But we're going to miss out, obviously, on the TV revenue here, but hopefully we can start to, to get some from our league. Not sure. Merchandising, we're at a third, almost, of last season. So, again, and match day income, about 15%. So, we, we've done a good job in terms of generating some income for the club um right let's see so we brought in lots of trials like a ton of trials because we can't really afford like i didn't want to just wait to scout people we also had players that wanted to leave so let's talk about the outs first um right so i joined after one nine so everything after one nine is me so arv borgensen we sold for 145k um, I think it goes up a little bit. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just a straight 145k. He wanted to leave, and so he's gone to Tromso IL, which is in the the obviously the Premier Leagues. And he was so good from a physical standpoint. I hated to lose him, but it was like it was really jamming up the dynamics, and everyone was mad. And I was like, fine, fine, we'll sell him. We've loaned out Ronnie Sivertson, who's a youngster. We've loaned him out like two divisions down, something like that. Maybe a division. And he, I mean, he's. Dominated five starts, one goal, three assists, a point of the match on 7.66, and his stuff is improving. So that has turned out thus far to be a good loan. We've sold last Sigurdsson, and the captain came to me and was like, Why did you do that? Because he was a team leader. But to be honest with you, we got good value. He's worth 45.5. We got 72 grand for him. And he's just not good at like one thing. Like he's kind of a, he was on a first team contract. And he's not really a winger. He's in this crossing and dribbling wasn't that good. Uh, but he's not really a striker either because his finishing first touch isn't that good. And we had a lot of, lot, a lot of like striker winger, it's like saving Servat all over again. Um, and we just kind of didn't need him. So I thought getting 72 grand was a value, gets him off the wage book. Because I'm really trying to get the wage budget down to kind of like help chip away um, on our massive debt. Uh, we loaned out Marcus Hebstad is what we're going to go with there. It is a loan that we can recall. So he he's he was on a backup contract, but he's six fifty a week, which is a lot. And again, he was like he could rotate in and be fine. Like I'm I'm okay with him. He's got he's got some green and he's got some good mentals. Um, would have been good for tutoring and stuff like that if he'd been on a rotation contract, something like that. So, like, if we get into an injury crisis, we can loan him back. But they're giving us eight grand a month as well, which doesn't sound like much, but that's like ninety six grand over a year. It's not gonna be obviously probably that long. Um, it's through October, so whatever. I'll just call it five, six months. You know, that's forty eight grand. When you're one point six million in the hole, you'll take forty eight grand. I'm just saying, and reducing the wage budget again. And we loaned out Gear Morkin, who I thought honestly was going to get some game time. He's a youngster, 19. Determination is a problem. Uh, but we just didn't have many center backs, if you remember. But we've brought in a replacement. So I'll show you that here in just, how about now? Um, if you remember, we had a severe left back, right back crisis. Like, 
We only had one of each with no real backups. We had some youngsters that are like one and a half star. So let's look here. Uh, again, I didn't do this. So Casper Hoyer is a guy that I had scouted at TPS, and he wasn't quite, you know, it was kind of like, eh. Um, he's from Denmark. We got him in on a backup contract, but he's 28. I'm hoping with his determination he can do some tutoring, and he's he's not terrible. Like, there, I did have some other options that we loaned in that I won't bother showing you from, like, Iceland and stuff like that, and they were just – it was like they could play defensive fullback and that was it, like in a bind. But he's actually not half bad. He's got good physicals for his age and he can cross the ball in. So, like, I'm not going to worry, right, if we if we have to start him, right? So, I'm good with that. Um, Christopher Lindquist is another one we picked up. And he's on a rotation contract. I was actually hoping to do a backup contract. But when we brought him in on trial, he turned out to be quite good. 27 really good physicals. Finishing not so much. But again, we put him on a support. You know, he can do that just fine. And in a bind, he can help cover the left side. So I really liked him as a pickup because he can cover the right. He wants to get some game time. He could also cover the left if we had to play him. So I think he's an excellent pickup. Um, let's look here. Magnus Peterson is the one that replaced the center back that we loaned out. Danish, 26, two and a half star, good physicals. Determination isn't three, so that's positive. Amazing long throws. Um, quite the good player. Backup, again, just giving us some depth. If you look here, he's, you know, uh, I, I, he was better than the one we loaned out. So he's the fourth be best center back that we have. <laughs> he can't concentrate, apparently. He's a six. It's not great, but again, he's a backup in a bind. We can play him. Um, Hoidel, where's Hoidel? Hoidel, Jonas. Um, we just loaned him in. He's injured for another six days. He's been injured for like three weeks. Um, and the only reason I brought him in, he's not ever, I mean, he's behind our backup who is 20, whose determination is 11. But Marcus is 24, and his determination is 7, and he's the starter He's on a backup contract, though, so I'm, I haven't tried this because he's injured. I want to see if we can get him tutoring some folks. I mean, I don't, yeah, he can't. Oh, lack of time running on a contract. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I loaned him for three months. Right. That's unfortunate. Can we offer to extend the loan? If not, we'll just end it. I'll do that later. That's hilarious. I was hoping to get him in while he was injured and then have him tutor, you know, some of our youngsters or something like that. That's awesome that that just happened live. And then we brought in Erik Schulz, um, all around pretty good player. He can play all over the park. Going to play more. I can't remember if he's more on the advanced play maker here or here but we needed some depth we also had one of our starters that was like looking to leave no one has come in for him so he said all right man i'll hold off until you know the next transfer window because i i i was like fine you're worth 300 grand i listed him i offered him to clubs literally no sniffs it wasn't like i said no like I, no one came looking so i brought this guy in because i was nervous that we were going to lose somebody again really good determination can be used he's on a first team contract he can be used to tutor We've got him tutoring Oysten Stein, who looks all right. So those are the – I want to say that's all the ends, isn't it? Uh, th these two are youngsters that were on trial, and then I forgot to sign them, and we brought them back. So it's not really all that exciting. Nobody really in the youth has been really exciting. But I think overall, 275 in in um, outs and nothing on the ends is pretty good, minus the goalkeeper who can't tutor because he doesn't have enough time. So we'll see if we can extend that contract. If not, we'll cancel it and go find somebody else if we can. Um, right. So let's look at the tactic we've come up with. I want to play the 4-2-3-1 or 4-1-2-3-Y, but we don't really have a good defensive midfielder. Our best defensive midfielder is a center back who doesn't – I mean, he knows it, but he's not fantastic at it. So I thought it was better to get our best players on the pitch. You can kind of see it here so I, I can show you the players with their star ratings. So we've got mostly our best players out there. Robstad is suspended. Bali is a striker. I've actually dropped him down to rotation contract. He's quite expensive for a rotation contract, but he's more of a defensive forward. I'm not a huge fan. He's got really good physical, so maybe I'm making a mistake. I'm going to rotate he, him and Sebastian Peterson, who has been really good. Um, 
you know, in the friendlies. Not so great in one of the money leagues, but that's to be expected because it was really big teams. So I'm not holding that against him. But he's almost got as, as good physicals, but he's got better finishing first touch. That's why I went with him. So you can kind of see what we've got here. We've left Finn, Finn Bogason on the bench. Bicklum, Hadzik, Linquist is that uh, right back that can cover left back. Peterson is the guy that can cover everywhere, but is pretty much a center back. That's what we're going to be doing today. Um, we have Hansen. Okay, have I been resting him? Right, go right ahead and rest three days. Hansen, Hansen, and Hoidel, who's the the goalkeeper coming off injury. But I'm I'm quite happy. We've we've improved the locker room atmosphere a little bit by winning a bunch of. Look at that. Look at those friendlies. That's insane. Um, you can see the leagues here. We brought in Strumgras, FC Saint Pauli, uh, Dukla Prague, Slovan Liberec, and. We weren't really ex uh, those are like larger than us teams or similar size foreign teams. So I'm quite quite pleased. We we won both of the money leagues, generated some income, did a good job, and and really the goals have been all over the place. Finn, Bog Finn Bogason getting some goals here in the middle of the puck. Um and then we played a small team before the start of the season to, you know, get everybody's feeling good about life. So we're gonna play Viking. I've already gone eleven minutes. So we're gonna play one game today. It's gonna be Viking FK who got relegated with us. And it says they're local rivals, but it's like an hour drive. I, I checked on the map. But, uh, yeah. Let's go look at the board. Yay. They don't really care thus far. Um, oh, let me look at the competitions. They, the expectations they have for us is to reach the playoffs, top six, and to reach the fourth round of the cup. So we got to take the cup seriously because we start out in the first round. So it's not like we're starting in the second or third round. We just need to win one or two games. Like we got to make quite the run. So we're going to we're gonna hop in today. Um, we're playing away from home. We're going to play counter on that 4-3-3 three, three wide. Again, would rather play a 4-1-2-3 DM, but just based on a personnel. So we don't have a lot of hope here in the middle. I've left it stupid simple, right? Like, I've given them some individual instructions, like if they're really bad at passing or dribbling, like don't do that. But other than that, we've just kind of left it in hopes that we can... I'm interested because they got relegated too. It's just that we're away from home. And they're playing a 4-4-1-1. Interesting. Do it for the fans that aren't here. Okay. Um, let's go get revenge. I wasn't here for that, but you were. Oh, I didn't show you. Sorry. I'm going to hop back out. Nope. That's not how you do that. Let's show you the staff transfers. Did I do it? I, I feel like I did staff transfers. Transfers. Um, yes, we have brought in Yuso Hotapelto. It was a U19 coach for us. Now we're pretty upset. He's quite the the wage rise, but he earned it, honestly. Like, he quit when I resigned from TPS. And so he was good with being a U19 coach. He was a U20 coach. Maybe he's going to follow us around. Am I, surely. I'm a favorite personnel, sir. Happy about that. Gear Hansen, is, we, we just posted the job. Got ahead of youth development 13, 10, and 10. Looks pretty good. Um, we got a physio. We hired a – we didn't have a head coach for the second team. He's actually not half bad. 10-10, 13, 13, and 8. Um, was an interim head coach for Vard ha 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 Hagsund. Right. In like two or three divisions below us. And we hired a scout. Mo. Just Mo. Just Mo. My name's Mo. He was a player for a long time. Looks like – yeah, he's Norwegian. So he's all Norwegian. That he was a chief scout for Bratvag who, again, are several divisions below us. But he's, I mean, 8, 12, and 12. We'll just keep him in Norway and have him scout there. Looks like he's got a pretty good eye. And then we got rid of Matthias Anderson, who that's the guy I replaced. Just ignore that part. <laughs> all right, my friends. Let's get started. Ostaval, our center back, 100th league appearance for the club. Let's, let's have a top performance. Um, we're just resting Fing Bogson because I don't rate him as high as the other ones. Sorry, mate. Um, it's Derby Day. It's is it? Um, let's go put on a show. Um, let's just be professional. Um, a win would be wonderful, but I'm not gonna get onto the guys as the first game of the season. Um, we can get the result that we want though. Kind of an all over the place, you know, interview in the tunnel. I have to get used to like, it's like, hey, which which colors are we? Um, we're in yellow, yellow. Our logo is white and blue, but we are 
aren't we? Yeah, Schulz is out. I, I, it just throws you off. Ugland. Peterson. We're not really bombing forward in a counterattacking style, guys. I'm just saying. We're just poking and prodding, I suppose. Whitney. Hey. I guess that was a shot. It just went off his foot the wrong way. We have we've we've been playing a 4231 in the friendlies because you know it's against lesser competition, but we have been doing well and we we are on top of them thus far, he says before they give up a goal. But look at that. 65% possession in the first 16 minutes. Oh, I thought that was just going to sky in. I was like, is the goalkeeper just not going to take a look at that? Six shots, two on target, four long shots. That's not so good, but maybe we need to go work the ball in the box. I just don't like doing that on a counterattacking style. Misses the header and then stands there and thinks about it, but that's okay because his buddy's got his back. Okay, he was making a run there. I've been playing Hansen here in Whitney's spot, um, but he's out injured. Hollingen, who's the guy that wanted to leave, is stuck here for now playing box to box. Peterson, what a lovely. The net, the net rattled. How is that not a goal? How do I go back? How do I go back? What was that? Previous highlight. Show, where's play? The, if you rattled the net, surely it meant it went in, right? Okay, I probably should have sped this up a little bit, but you whatever. I just want to watch this. All right, we're gonna pop. We're gonna slow it down. We're going real slow. Uh, I guess the post is just really, really loose because it goes off of the post. Okay, let's go live. That was a bit of a disappointment. That was a sit-down. It was a good first touch, but that was definitely a clear-cut chance. We've been all over them. All over them. Like, what are you doing? You had runners. <sighs> okay. I mean, four on-target shots, but five long shots is not exactly what we're looking for. I'm, I am going to put... Uh, it just makes me nervous. Work the ball. Oh, of course. Work the ball in the box. He immediately give up a goal. No. Hits that guy right in the gut. He's like... <clears throat> But again, I'm, I'm happy with the transfers, minus that goalkeeper that can't do any tutoring and is injured and we're paying for him. We'll just cancel his contract if I can't get that extended. Classic. So five on target, but six long shots. We had a clear cut and a half chance. We've been playing really well. I'm going to say... Um, I'm happy with the performance. Keep it up. You, I mean, you've not scored a goal, but... You know... I'm still upset about Miko not being able to come. Like, I'm going to see if I can offer him a contract, like, at end of contract, to see that, that way we're not paying a, a compensation, maybe? Something like that? Come on, boys. Roman heads it down. Hologen collects. Ugland is a little slow to it, but he was just drawing He was just drawing the winger to give Whitney some space. Or is it Vikni? Or is it Winchni? Or who knows? Hologen all day long. Oh, mate, you like you could like had made a sandwich in the amount of time it took you to, to take that shot and you still missed. Get it on target at least because it was a to be fair, it was a bullet. But you, you got to you got to aim before you fire. And you it seemed like you were aiming You're, and then off target. Unbelievable. Saleh to Kreiser. Back to Saleh. Are we going to do anything, boys? Let's not. We've been all over them. This feels like a game where we're going to give up a dumb goal. And, and lose like 1 0 when we've had the clear cut chance, all the shots, most of the possession. Hologen. Now we're working into the box. Is that going to work for us or not? Can he find Peterson? No. Back to Uglin. He's got the winger or the runner on the left. That's not the winger, that's the left bat. Hoyer, who's in for the injured left back. Uglin. Hologen. Oh. O'Kells collects. Uglin. Whitney. Goal. Yes, people. Yes. Um, concentrate. That's it. We're off. The mark. First goal of the season. That was pretty good football. Passing it around. I mean, that wasn't so good. And then he just stands there. He's still standing there like, hey, mate, we got the ball back. I'm just upset about it. All right, lads. All right. Our our striker, Schulz, is not playing well. Oh, Kels, those, those are not strikers. That's, a, that's one of our midfielders and the left winger. Come on, boys. We've been all over this. We've been all... Okay, that's, that's a... 
Ball into space. Hoyer collects. Experienced. 28. Mm, that's that's not what we were looking for. It's coming right back his way, though. He, he's going to head it. Oh, why did you head it to them when you could have chested it down? Oh, sliding tackle, but now the defense is all over the park. Goodness. What are you doing, mate? Okay, I'm just checking. I don't know these. Like, I don't know why this isn't in the order of, like, start here and then work your way up. Um, because this is the goalkeeper, right back, center back, center back. Okay, it kind of is. Never mind. But Whitney, okay, we got two center or center mids here, and then this is a center mid. We're seeing left, striker, left, center midfield, not playing exceptionally well, but we are up 1-0. I'm just going to say demand more. We've had 14 shots. Seven on target, two clear-cut chances. I thought we had a half chance. Did it get upgraded? Am I crazy? At the half, did we not have one and one? We must not have. I'll have to look at it when I'm doing my editing. Okels. Oh, I thought he was going to get a, like a broken leg there. Hoyer. Calmly to Ugland. Makes a little run. Touching touch passes. Oh, lovely. Oh, that was so nice until it wasn't. Granley, who is, who is tipped to be one of the best players of the season, um, are right back there. Uglin. I think Peterson also was rated to be in the running for... Oh, that was a weak shot. Your other shot was amazing. Maybe, maybe it's his weak foot. I'm not sure. I think it is. Um, Peterson was in the running to be like one of the top goal scorers potentially. Okay, Hologen is on a 6.3 after... I guess missing two sitas is the is the problem there. I'm going to have to go tactic screen because I don't know my players. <laughs> Who's more defensive? Can you play box to box? You can play. Come on down, Hadzik. How old are you? 24 year relatively determined you can come right in we'll burn a little bit of time here i'm just gonna say go out there and make a difference he's happy about that i'm really watching the dynamics because we started off so poorly that uh i want to make sure that they they know i love them and they, therefore they will love me uglin hadzik comes in oh it's a, it, that was a that's that's fair it's his first shot you know since he came in so he's just uh it was a cider okay 89th minute we're gonna take off our striker. We're going to bring fast Boley on just to give him some game time. Come on. Come on, boys. Don't. Yes, Hoyer. Experience. Boley. Run, son. Run with those legs. Run with those legs. We're going to get our first win. First game of the season. We're, we're going up. We're going up. We're, I'm calling it now. We're going up. Yes. That was a pragmatic approach to the match. You know, started off with a win away from home. I like it. I don't know why it shows you the other team. I don't really care about the other team. I don't... Okay, not our formation. How about our stats? Player of the match. Two key passes. Two chances created for Wakeney. He gets the goal. I think he deserves that, right? All right. Passionate. A very nice victory. Nobody cares. They're still like, you're not speaking Norwegian. I'm going to tell these two guys they played exceptionally well. Very See, this has been happening all preseason. They're kind of like, mm, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not understanding you, mate. Um, happy with the improvement. He's like, you said you wanted a bagel. Like, you know, like, it's like, what? You, can you speak Norwegian? No, sir, I cannot. That has landed us in seventh with the win because of goal differential, and then I guess it's based. I was gonna say off of alphabetical, but okay. It doesn't matter. It's the first game of the season. When we come back, my friends, I'm going to bring us back. I have no idea who's really good and not hold. I remember, I, I noticed, and I'm sure you've already left me comments by now because, again, I'm recording this in the, in the future. The last episode, I was going up and down here, and it was going to teams, not not to leagues. Yeah, remember that? They, they were in 12th last season. They've kind of been at the bottom, so you'd think that'd be a good game to come back for. Or we could do Kongsvinger, Kongsvinger, who have kind of bounced around as well. I think we'll do that. I don't want to spend, like, we don't need to play every single game. So I'll go three games, come back for the cup first round against whoever, and then we'll take on Kongsvinger IL, who are in eighth. If you've enjoyed this episode, it would really help out, especially because when we when we transition to a new club, it kind of helps it get seen by YouTube if you'd hit the like button. Check out this other stuff over here. Let me know what you think about all the transfers that we brought in, the people we sent out. Don't talk to me about the goalkeeper. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. 
We'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.